everybody. We're glad that you can come out for this. Uh, this is one of the fun things I do with my job is uh, promotions. Um, some introductions you want to do for your family? Introduce them. Um, I got my family here, uh, my wife, Carrie, my son, Arthur, and my daughter, May, and my good friend and uh, good friends, Eddie, Joe. Uh, today is actually their, uh, their 11 year anniversary, but it's been time. <laughs> friend from Ukraine, um, Brian and Natalia, and then their son, uh, Jason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. He's been an uh, integral member of the Med Group for, for many, many years. And for those of you that uh, even our new members find out pretty quickly that if they're having trouble with their computer or if they're having an issue with something, he's the guy to go to, even though he's not. CSS <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> that tag is stuck with him. Uh, we just came through a, a UEI, which is an inspection, uh, put in countless hours, handling kind of some stuff in both shops, your shop and other shops, and kind of just making sure all the T's were crossed and the I's dotted. Um, this is really a, a well-deserved promotion. I'm, I'm really happy that uh, we're able to do this and for you. And it's it's well-deserved. And uh, without any further ado, we'll, we'll get you promoted. Thank you, Colonel. Please join for the reading of a uh, promotion order. Publish the order. Special order AP 0511 by order of the Secretary of the Air Force and direction of the President. Cap prevented federal recognition and promoted to the grade of major with date of rank 23 September 2022. Okay. At this carry, son Arthur and daughter May will come forward to assist with the penny. <laughs> <laughs> and Riverside spend your anniversary with me. <laughs> so, thank you. And I wasn't expecting this big of crowd. And thank you, uh, Colonel Welch's family. <laughs> <laughs> symbolic as well. Red symbolizes hardiness and valor, 
white signifies purity and innocence, and blue represents vigilance, perseverance, and justice. Traditionally, a symbol of liberty, the American flag has carried the message of freedom and inspired Americans both at home and abroad. In 1814, Francis Scott Key was so moved at seeing the stars and stripes waving after the British showing at Baltimore's Fort McHenry that he wrote the words to the Star Spangled Banner. In 1892, the flag inspired Francis Bellamy to write the Pledge of Allegiance, our most famous flag salute and patriotic oath. In July 1969, the American flag was flown in space when Neil Armstrong planted it on the surface of the moon. Today, our flag flies on constellations of Air Force satellites that circle our globe and on the thin flash of our aircraft in harm's way in every nation, in every corner of the world. Indeed, it flies in the heart of every airman who serves our great nation. The sun never sets on the U.S. Air Force, nor on the flag we so proudly cherish. Since 1776, no generation of Americans has been spared the responsibility of defending freedom. Today's airmen remain committed to preserving the freedom that others won for us for generations to come. By displaying the flag and giving it a distinctive fold, we show respect to the flag and express our gratitude to those individuals who fought and continue to fight for freedom at home and abroad. Since the dawn of the 20th century, airmen have proudly flown the flag in every possible conflict on land and skies around the world. It is their responsibility, our responsibility, to continue to protect and preserve the rights, privileges, and freedoms that we as Americans enjoy today. The United States flag represents who we are. It stands for freedom we all share, and pride and patriotism we feel for our country. We cherish its legacy as a beacon of hope to one and all. Long may it live. Met group, family and friends, I present to you this flag in recognition of your 27 years of faithful service as enlisted and officer of the United States Air Force. This concludes the official retirement ceremony. We will now move to informal presentation.